waking up. Yes. <laughs> to probably pull your chair. <laughs> All right. Good morning, gentlemen. We are continuing with flowcharts, and we will now be building expressions using flowcharts, not just dealing with numbers. We will have pronumerals as well. So we've been given instead of a number, we've been given a letter, pronumeral, and we have to do these operations and then get a final expression. So what do I need to do with two? Sorry, what do I need to do with a? Times it by two. Times it by two. So if I times a by two, what is the expression that I get? Two a. Two a. Can I write it as two a or a two or a times two or two times a? What's the correct way of two a? Two a. So. Everyone happy with that? We've discussed that. When we need to multiply a number with a pronumeral, we don't need to put the time sign. Yes? And what comes first? The number. So we don't have to write 2 times A. We just write 2A and we look at the board. Thank you. You, you. Look at the board. <laughs> now, we need to now add. What do we need to do to 2A? Add? Well done. Excellent. So we added 3 to it, right? Yep. Do I know what A is? Have they asked us, asked us to find A? No. no. Screens down, please. They are only asking us to build an expression using the operations. So basically, if I say, think of a number A, times it by 2, and then add 3 to it, that's the expression you get. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, next one. Now, we have the pronumeral Y. We need to divide it by? 7. What would I get if I divide y by 7? How do I write it? You write uh, 7 over y. I'm not writing 7 over y because I'm not dividing 7 y. by y. I'm dividing y by 7. Um, y over 7? Y over 7. So I'm glad you said that because y over 7 means y divided by 7. 7 over y means 7 divided by y. So there's a difference and in division and subtraction Order is very important. So thank you for saying that so we can talk about it. Clear? Yep. Yep. Now whatever we have, we are adding two to it. Now there's two things I'm going to write. You have to choose which one's correct. So I can... Which one do you think is correct? So we have y divided by 7. We have to add 2 to it. So divide by 7 and add 2 to it. Uh, y over 7 plus 2. That is correct. So this is correct because what what we what was the expression you had here? Y over seven. Whatever you have, you're adding two to it. But this one is different. This is add two first and then divide by seven. So in expression building, the order in which you're carrying out the operations is important. You can't do whatever you feel like. So that's really important to understand the difference between these two. Okay? Great work. Write the missing operation. What have we done to P to get 6P? So 6P means 6 times P. So I've times it by? You guys are so clever. Easy. Yes, you make algebra look really easy. Eyes on the board, please. Doesn't matter how easy it is, you still need to listen to me. Now, once I've times it by C, what's the next step? Subtract Well done. Any doubts? No? Pretty simple. Next one. What have I done to z to get z plus 2? You added 2. Yep, so can I write add 2? Yep. Well done. Once I've added 2, what am I doing with the whole thing? Dividing by 5. Dividing by 5. And see, that's why it's different to that. We added first and then divided. So we had z, we added 2 first and then divided the whole thing by 5. Which is different here. We divided first and then added. See how these two are different? Now, the real stuff. Draw a flow chart to build each expression. Now, I've given you the end result. You have to make your own flow chart to get to that point. So, what's the pronumeral that we had? T. T. So, we've done something to it to get an expression. Now, we can see there's two things, plus 4 and times 5. But what was done first? Right, because didn't we add 4 plus, it became t plus 4? And then? Times by 5. Because we're timesing this whole thing by 5. If I just write 5t plus 4, that's incorrect, isn't it? Whatever I have here, I'm timing the time, I'm multiplying the whole thing by 5. 
So it is important to use brackets. And that makes sense? Do we have the same expression? Yes. Next one. So what's the pronoun rule that we started with? Now, what have I done to x first? Divide by 7 or take away 3? Will it look like this if I divide by 7? Yes. yes, because 3 is not divided by 7, so 3 must come after that. And then what's left? That's it. Make sense? Yep. Perfect. Last one. So there's take away 5, there's a plus 9 there, there's a division by 2. But what's the pronoun that we started with? X. Yes. Okay. What is the first thing that we've done to x? Have we added 9 first or divided 2 first? What do you think? Um, minus 5. Who agrees? Perfect. Isn't that the first thing after that we've divided? Yeah. Yes. Well done. What's the second thing that we've done? Once we've taken away 5, what's the next thing that we've done? Oh, me? Yes, you. Uh, uh, added 9. Okay, if I do that, this is what it'll look like. Oh, sorry. No. And then I divide by 2, this is what it'll look like, right? So that's, that yeah, doesn't look. Bit, yeah. So what should the next step be? Uh, divide 2. Yeah. Because it's, see, 9 is not, 9 has not been divided by 2. Can you see 2 is not under 9? So that means 9 came after. Because if you add 9 and then divide by 2, then 2 would be over 9 as well. But that's not the case. So clearly 2 has nothing to do with 9. So 2 came first, so we divided by 2 first. And then what's left? Adding? Yeah. 9. Well done. But it's okay to check. You can check. Okay, let's add 9 first. Does it look like the expression? No, it doesn't. Are we happy with that? Yes. That's it for 5G and we'll move on to what comes after G? H. Alright, something comes after, we'll get that um, in about 10 minutes time. Okay.